All right, guys. Hi, and welcome to the video. Good morning, one and all. And um, in this video, we are going to take an object-oriented approach for Async IO. All right. So you think you know Async IO, right? Now let's step it up the game. So basically, let's um, get uh, object-oriented in this. So we learned how to write simple, simple functions, async function, core routines. We learned how to execute these core routines uh, simultaneously, or I would say concurrently. And then now step up the game. Let's take the object oriented approach now. Let's get rid of all of that. So I'm gonna be basically doing an object oriented. So I'm gonna be defining uh, one disclaimer. You need Python 3.8 for, uh, if you're working with my tutorials, it's I'm working on Python 3.8. If you're using Python 3.7, the syntax would be changing because you have to use event loop and stuff like that. I mean the version below 3.7. Enough of talking. Let's get straight back into action, okay? So import async here. I love async here. I mean, I've been using it and hmm. so except exceptions as e as usual. Some and we'd say some modules are missing. Okay, perfect, perfect, perfect. We'll also do one of these stuff. Uh, so oopsie, sister version. Perfect, done. Now let's step up the game, guys. So let's let's do a object-oriented async here. So uh, I'm gonna define a class called as compute, which is basically it's gonna inherit from object and it's gonna take a constructor self dot num is equal to num. It's gonna take a number. All right, all right, all right. So let's define a function that will basically compute a square. Okay. Okay, and I'm gonna use some kind of a delay just to pretend that it's um to, to show you the power of async IO. Oops, sorry for that annoying music. <laughs> Alright, so what I'm gonna I'm gonna do is uh, why hold on. Give me one sec. It should be async IO. Yeah, I was trying to, yep, that's fine. So, am I missing? Oh, yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna wait for three seconds, pretending that it's working, it's doing some computation, and I'm gonna say, It's pretty powerful, you know, this async IO. I mean, I've been loving it. I mean, I've been doing now like multi-processing and all of that. So I loved async IO. I mean, pretty much amazing. So whatever. Um, so yeah, that's works. And let's return the number. So cell.number. Okay, I'm gonna define, so this this was a normal function, but I'm gonna convert that into async IO. Async, okay. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Let's do it, man. So what I'm gonna do is basically I'm gonna replicate, or no, let me show you. So what I wanna show you is how to call async function within async function, okay, in in, in classes, of course. So I'm gonna say, I'm gonna compute a cube, when I'm, which is gonna take the square function. So I'm gonna say async. Okay, so, and again, I'm gonna pretend that there's some kind of a delay or it's, you know, working or some heavy computation. Now, I wanna do is basically, I wanna call that function. So, so the, here is a little, little bit trick. So you have to define a task here. So I'm gonna say task is equal to await. And I want, let's see. So I'm gonna basically create a task. So, and I'm gonna say coros and I'm gonna define my core routine. Coro is equal to now. Um, I want to close this. I want to call this method. You can't call like square. You have to call. Um, yep, I'm right. Square and number. Now this is not gonna be executed unless and until you run it. So you have have. Just 
shall just define a task. So you have to run a task. You have to you have to wait. You know. So I would say await, and basically um, you know what to do. So task. Um, I'm gonna wait for the task, right? So and if you want to get the response, you can of course say risk. So you're gonna get the response, and then you're gonna compute the queue. I think I had a small typo and that's not a problem at all. Okay, and ret ret damn it, return, perfect. So we got this two async um, function. So the cube called square and you can also, I'm, I'm gonna show you all of that, okay? So don't worry, just, just keep watching, keep watching. So, underscore dunder. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna run that. So first of all, you gotta create an instance. So I'm gonna say, so let's say you wanna compute the square. So in async, it's easy. You can just say async io dot run, and you can say instance, and then you wanna run the square. So let's check it out. Object oriented async queue. So printed out the Python version, computing the square, it computed and the square of the number is two. So works fine, right? So yeah, this 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 thing works, okay? Now, the question is how do I, if, if I call cube, it's gonna internally call square, which is again an async function. And I'm gonna show you at the end how to call both of them simultaneously. So similarly, you can also call it cube, no problem. Think of this as a task, guys. You know, everything is a core routine in async IO. All right, it, it blowed up for a reason and takes one positional argument and two were given. All right, I know why. Damn it. Yeah, it's some, because square does not take anything and I was passing something there. So yeah, that that's the reason for the error and we fixed it and here you can see computing the square. Now the square of the number is two and yeah, we did not print this, so initially I should Okay, just to prove my point that it works. <laughs> so, here you can see computing square cube works. Now, step it, let's step up the game. So, I wanna say async. I'm gonna define, I wanna run the, basically the cube and both, the, both of them at the same time. So, what I'm gonna do is basically I'm gonna define two tasks. I'm gonna say task when. Task when is basically, uh, even if we were doing that, I'm gonna define an instance instance and i'm gonna say you know compute uh, i'm gonna call that and what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna define two tasks so i'm gonna say task one is equal to async io dot create a create task chorus i'm gonna define my chorus and simply use the instance variable and call the square my first task is ready now i'm gonna define my second task so task two is equal to async io dot create task Coros, oops, Coros, and I'm gonna say instance dot q. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Uh, let's do two. Now we gotta run that task. Await. Um, uh, you know it's simple. We can say await task one. Await. Await task two. And yeah, that's pretty much it. You can also you know set a timeout functions if you want. Um, so I'm gonna comment it out so you guys can play with it. So async, uh, async you run main. All right, let's try to test it out. So both of them started at the same time, square and cube. Here you can see it's it has some delay, so it's switching the coroutine. So here you can see cube eight, square two. Pretty much amazing, right? So I give you a small introduction on how you can use async you with object oriented that is classes. Hope you have enjoyed it. If so, do give a like and the code is there on my page pin as usual, you know, and have questions posted in the comment section below and 
we would be stepping up the game a little bit more uh, in upcoming videos. We'll be trying to use design patterns in async I mean, it's gonna be pretty dope, right? So we'll use design patterns. We'll also try to use decorators and we will also combine threading, step up the game even further. So we're gonna use threads uh, for some functions. We'll define some normal function. We'll define some async function. Some normal function would be a threaded function. Async would be a coroutine and all of that. It's fun, right? It's really, really fun. So that's it for this video. Hope you have enjoyed it and see you in the next video. Goodbye.